What's up, Frigate Chasers? In this video, we continue with our Learning to Sail McGregor 26 series. We sail to Spalding Beach, go for a swim, and say hi to the Mark Twain Lake Sailing Association. And Shannon gets a hook in the leg. Be sure to watch till the end for Frigate Chaser news and bonus content. What's up, y'all? We are back out here at Mark Twain Lake. This is the one camera challenge day. I've decided to start doing some edits on um, on the phone and the iPad to speed things up. So maybe this one will jump ahead in the progression. Um, I figured out that I can, while I'm sitting in the line, at the bean line and the wheat line and whatever, at the dump, selling grain, that I could actually be editing on my phone. So our sponsor for the day. That's our sponsor for the day, Corey Sprock and Legit Grain. Corey actually recently gave us a $100 bill for fuel this season. So thanks, Corey. Appreciate it. If you guys are looking to sell some grain, look up Corey Sprock at Legit Grain. Um, it's also Byron's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Byron! And then we've got Nicole and Valerie on board as well. There's one of our neighbors over there. And I don't know. So uh, we had 11 mile an hour winds, put the sails up, and then the wind quit. Three miles. <laughs> But they, uh, now the wind came back just a tad. And uh, how fast are we going? 3.8. Woohoo! 3.8. So the goal is we're gonna go, we're gonna sail for a little bit, end up over at Spalding Beach. Byron wants to get in, snorkel around, do some swimming. Oh, there we go. Now we got a little wind. So we'll keep you guys posted. We are still on our learning to sail series because um, we're still learning to sail. What's today's lesson? Oh, here's one. Always make sure the centerboard is down before you put the sail up. Check. The wind is, uh, and the rudders. Always make sure the rudders are down as well. I got a question for all you sailors. I saw recently on a McGregor post that some people tie their rudders all the way down and some people kind of let them go loose. And there's been some, di some uh, discussion on whether that's the correct thing to do. So I'd like some opinion on that. Yeah, me as well. Uh, I was actually about ready to talk about that. Um, what I think is best to do is just to leave them loose, but wrap it loosely so that they're tied up against the back of the boat. So you get a little bit of a pull on. Yeah, so if you do hit something. If you need to let go real quick, you can do it, I guess. Yeah, if you, like Johnny says, if you need to let go of them real quick, you got that. Or if you hit something, they can always slip around and pop on up. So that's that's my theory but yeah all you salty mcgregors have been doing it for years what's your input hit us up comment section down below here we go we got some wind now sort of coming straight in on the beam mostly or behind the beam still don't remember what all that's called but uh Johnny's daughter's out here on the lake where, where what's their story oh they put in on 107 on the other end of the lake um, take us all day to get over at this speed. I'm sure they'll find us. Yeah, we're not trying to go to the other side of the lake today. No way. We've done that before. <laughs> On a super gusty day. I'll link that video below. It was our first day sail Mark Twain Lake video. It was windy. It was real windy. We were leaning at 40 and 45s. Nicole down here was scared to death. I was scared to death. Byron wasn't sale. with us that day, or Valerie, but yeah, yeah fun times. So Johnny just asked what Shannon's up to today. Hello, Shannon. And uh, by the time you guys see this, you'll have already seen the Bimini Crossing. This year's 2022 Bimini Crossing, Florida to Bahamas by boat video. It's actually releasing tomorrow, and then this video will be a couple weeks from now, I hope. Um, but Shannon is currently fishing, and... Um, Currently not. Around the uh, Fort Lauderdale area, and he sent me this picture. Let's get Johnny's reaction. What? Nasty! <laughs> so he's got a hook in his leg, um, and he is actually still out there fishing with the hook in his leg, and I'm going to insert these photos here. He's just fishing away. And he's gonna wait till they get home before they try to pull it out. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. So hopefully we'll get an update 
for this video on that by the end of the day. Another question for the comment section for all you salty dogs who've been running these for a while. Um, so going into the dock, I've only pulled into the dock by myself a handful of times so far, but I think it's a little bit handy to put just a little bit of centerboard down and one rudder down. Um, Johnny likes to do it a little bit different. What, do you, what are your all's thoughts? Johnny, what's, what's your method? I like centerboard up and I like one rudder at about halfway down where it's just tipped in the water doing like this. Kind of use it as a paddle. Kind of, I can scoot myself around that way a little bit. Don't put a lot of pressure on it, you know, then we'll snap it off. But I kind of like sticking straight out. Dip, just barely dipping in the water. All right, that's the two ways that we've found out kind of works best so far. Um, with no rudder or no centerboard, definitely you get pushed around by the wind a lot and you don't have a lot of control if you don't have the motor in gear, kind of like a jet ski. So what do you guys do? Let us know. We've also had comments about our, uh, what is this thing called again? Main sheet? Yeah. Main sheet, how we've got it on upside down. I like that way. Cause it's supposed to come down and hook onto here. Uh, we do not hook it there because we didn't like how wiggly the pedestal is and we figure if you get a good wind or the boom whips around hard you could possibly strip the pedestal from the bottom so we've added this down lower which will be much less leverage so we hook it there and it's not very easy to actually run the block and tack or the what's it called main sheet main sheet but the locking mechanism part of it it's not easy to run the locking part down here at the bottom so we just put it up here it's not that bad if you got I two people like I know where it's at all the time I can see it it's definitely harder for a solo sailor probably to do it that way if you're solo sailing mm, I, maybe I you want to put about it about there but just fine okay I like it I like it up there that's just my opinion so that's where we got it running for those of you that have toyed around with different setups here, let us know what you do. Yes? I'm saying that if it's down here, what I don't like about it is you need to be up here where you can be seeing what's going on and you can reach around, do what you need to do up here. But if it's down here, you gotta lean down here to break it loose or you gotta grab it into the rope, put your foot on it or something to break it loose. Then you get your foot caught in the cam buckle thing, snatchy, ropey, catchy thing. Technical terms, I always like them. Anyway. I like it up here. So with that being said, what is this cam buckle snatchy thing called? We always forget. It, it's the thing that rips your skin off your fingers and your feet and stuff if you get in there and all that. It's always good. Shannon, our, our first day out sailing, Shannon caught his fingers in those four, five, six times before he learned his lesson. Love you, Shannon. How's the hook in the leg? It looks pretty nasty. <laughs> I just gotta say, Shannon, if you uh, had a bigger boat, you probably would have had more room and wouldn't gotten that hook in the back of your leg there. Maybe you need a bigger boat. Shannon always needs a bigger boat, right, Sarah? Nice turn to this one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, oh, look out. Um, but if you're brand new. I love how the wind changes on this lake so fast. Just, uh, yeah, the thing about this lake is the wind is never consistent. Like, kind of swirls. It's, it's so mostly like coming out of the south here, today, here, but, uh, yeah. you know. So they'll just kind of do whatever they want most of the time. Well, right now it's coming out of the southeast, but it doesn't stay there. And then it picks up and slows down and moves towards the bluff and away from the bluff. And then turns completely around and it's a good time to practice. How fast are we moving? 4.2. All right, that might be a new high for the day, 4.2. Miles per hour, not knots. So what's, what's knots? Uh, miles per hour times 1.15 or miles per hour divided by 1.15, which is it? Times. Times? All right, good job. I think. I think I'm right. I always thought knots were slower than miles per hour. I'm pretty sure knots are... Well... We got the winds back. How fast are we going? 5.1. 5.1, new record for the day. Oh, we think we figured out the knots. Knots are what? Slower than miles per hour, right? That's what we decided. One 
divide MPH by 1.15 or something like that. Are we right? Whoa! Got some leaning now. 20 degrees, that's... Six mile an hour! Woo! Six mile an hour, yay! Hitting it. it was cold. Or McGregor. It was like Byron's standing on his head down there. There's Miranda, Johnny's daughter. You're on us. Byron, here's Miranda. And Daisy. Changed route, headed actually to Spalding now. Gonna meet Miranda and her man up over there. Currently 3.5 mile an hour sailing, direct downwind, and it's not blowing very hard anymore. Here it comes. Got a little wind back. How fast are we going now? Five three. Five three. I can't remember. Is that the new record? Oh, we went five for the day. We were? Yeah. <laughs> Before we turned around to come back here. What's up, sleepyhead? I, I said, um, I think they went over there. Like Is that them over there? Does the water make you tired? No, I'm just tired today. It's hard for me to tell it was far away. Modern sunshine. Summertime. It's got a summertime coma. Waterlogged. Uh, well, we'll just go over, over here. He spent all day up at, uh, at the landing water park yesterday. Yeah, really worn out. Oh. Hello. Oh. What's up, dudes? What's up, man? I like the, what you got going on? Hey, the whole thing, diet, the whole thing is looking awesome. Oh, Thanks, Cody. Yeah. Nah. Here it is, Spalding Beach. Byron's got a snorkel. Hey, Byron, how much can you see down there? What? Can you see anything? No. No. It's like so. It's like so. Pretty muddy, huh? Yeah, it's really muddy. It's like some dark. Be fun to fly the drone right now. However, new FAA regulations. You got to take a new knowledge test and carry it with you at all times, your results or your card or whatever. Haven't taken the test yet, so. Feels nice. Better be safe, right? Good dog here. Bark. Hey, buddy. Ah. Oh. Mom. Just got an update from Shannon. At this point, I guess he's been fishing with that hook in his leg for over an hour. Here's a video. So what? what's happened? Nothing, we're fishing. Oh, right there. Uh, I caught something. I think the fish caught you. I think the fish caught you, baby. It's stuck in my leg. Don't, don't. Oh. There we go. That's much better. No more pressure. There's that pressure pushing against that hurt. How long have you been fishing with this? Mm, hour. No, we've been fishing with it all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's my new, it's my new, my new piercing. Best seat in the boat, huh? Valerie, just chilling. Messaging. You working? I thought this was your work, your week off. You look like you're working. No. Yeah, uh, messaging of my cousin. <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> oh, the boat is getting all scuzzy sitting there at the marina. I figured it would. It was doing really good earlier in the season. Yeah. I guess our bottom coat didn't shed it off as well as it used to. It looks like we should have brought our bottom coat up quite a bit. Um, but that's where the original line was, so. Hey, look, you take your boat out of the water and don't do that. Yeah, yeah, there's <laughs> quite a difference there. No scuzz. Thank you. 
Cody's got a solid story for us. What happened? So I pull up to the boat dock last time, and this old boy's like, hey, man, don't forget to put your plug in the boat. I just blew it off, you know. He's trying to be a smart ass. Pull up this time. He didn't have his plug in the boat. I said, hey, man, did you forget your plug in the boat? He said, yeah, I did. Don't forget to put your plug in the boat. I think he needs to tell himself that. Well, what happened, though? His was boat it, was flooded. He sunk? <laughs> sunk his boat. <laughs> Hope he sees this too. Yeah. That way he can remind himself every time. Yeah. What was his name? I don't know his name. Ask Miranda about him. Good story, good story. Smart ass. Miranda, tell us about the plug in the boat. Yeah. Got it. Cody we said I had one. to ask you. We don't have one. You don't have a plug. We don't have an anchor, we don't have a plug. <laughs> No, the Both like to guy. catch on fire. The guy today with the plug. <laughs> Last Saturday with the plug. What about that it? Guy. I want to go in that put the, Hey, bud. Put the one in the yelled at us? Hi. As we were already in the water? Hey. Don't forget to put your plug in. And then the day we go by and it's fucking plug in and his boat is oh. sunk. What are you doing for a plug then? No, not me. That guy sunk Wanted his boat. Wanted a piece of paper? <laughs> you have a plug. Yes, we <laughs> That guy sunk his boat today. <laughs> Byron's over here trying to make friends. I'm sure he wants to try out that floaty island thing. We should probably get one of them. I want mine inflatable though. We can roll it up, pack it away. Sleep on it. Put a tent on it. Any of you people that are contacting me about doing reviews on my YouTube channel about stuff, I want one of those floaty islands. Send me one of those. Hey, Daisy. Ooh. <laughs> Here it is, Spalding Beach, ladies and gentlemen, where lots of people like to go, beach up their boat, swim, hang out, do the thing, accessible by water and by land. Looks like the Sailing Association are having a little raft up over here. We're going to cruise over and see what's going on. From here we can see Doug and Angie's boat is there. You probably can't see anything on the GoPro, but that's where we're headed. Listen, Sailing Association, Johnny and I have both paid our twos and we still haven't got any emails. How are we supposed to know about the raft up with no emails? Uh, we're pretty sure that Myron is just taking our money and not signing us up. <laughs> Just kidding, he, he Myron. He didn't give me change, though. <laughs> he got you your change? Yeah, he got me my change. That's good, that's good. So, I mean, they do post stuff on the Facebook page, but, like, I do not pay attention to Facebook anymore. It's pretty annoying, so I actually have to go. All my notifications are off. You or can't else monetize this now. You just said Facebook. FB. <laughs> All my notifications are off, or else you get 10 an hour, and it's ridiculous. <clears throat> How's it going, everyone? How you doing? How you doing? Got some decent wind out there today, huh? Oh, man. We actually healed. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, nah, we're going to try to get a little more sailing in, and then we got to go home tonight, so. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, Nicole does. She's out on the other boat right now doing some tubing. So. Hey, neighbors. What's going on? You guys are looking good. Picked up a little bit. Yeah, sure did. I think we're getting more than they predicted. I think so. What's new in frigate news? We plan to take the McGregor to Florida soon, but first we have to fix a hole in the boat thanks to whatever this thing is. And we bought a new project boat. 10 points to whoever can guess what kind of boat this is. In the next video, we'll pick up where we left off on this video. We get out for some serious sailing, decide on a boat name, and Shannon deals with that hook in his leg. Thanks for watching till the end. As a reward, we'll link the next video in the top left during the end screens and in the description below before that video is even released to subscribers. Like and comment as it really helps the channel and frig it out. <laughs>